Now, Coach, you also coming off a victory yourself with uh, Richardson Hitchens. You know, you guys were down there in Arizona. I think, right. You know, in the Benavides called Richardson Hitchens. Fourth round stoppage. You look right. great. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just what's your reaction to the, to the success in that well, fight? Well, I mean, it, it was a good fight for him to keep his, get, get his feet wet once again. Because as you know, he wasn't or haven't been fighting, I believe, his last fight was last year in December. Mm -hmm. So it was a good um, fight for him um, to get him back uh, in the public sight, although it wasn't televised. You know, people was well aware that he fought. Right. And um, it was a good fight for him. I, 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 I liked it. Um, he did a great job. He got a knockdown in the second round. And in the fourth round, uh, the guy quit or the ref decided to see that the guy couldn't take or the fight couldn't take too much. He was being punished. So the right just thing to do was um, to protect him and just stop the fight. Mm. Now, recently, I interviewed uh, Leonard Ellaby, CEO of the Mayweather Promotions, and he just was praising uh, Richardson Hitchens, you know, and he said he's going to be looking to get him a world title shot, you know, much sooner than people think. Uh, just what's your reaction, you know, to, to the praise from LB and, you know, plans going forward? <laughs> well, I'm not going to comment on the praise from LB, but I will say that if you can get him a... A, a, a championship fight um, it's well overdue mm. he should have been there because when you look at guys like Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney mm. um, who else is out there even Tefimo Lopez uh, Richardson Hitchens kind of came up with all of them Right. so now it's about that time it's about that time and um, it's good that he had that fight or his last fight in Phoenix because it brings him back to the attention of the people because, I mean, since he wasn't being promoted or he wasn't fighting for quite some time, you don't want people to forget about the fighters. Of course. You know, and so, I mean, Leonard Ellaby has his praises uh, for Richard Hitchens. That's a good thing for Leonard Ellaby have a, 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 a money fight for him. It's a fight well overdue. But you think at this point Hitchens is at a level where he should be competing for world titles. He's ready for that next big step. Without a doubt. Without I think doubt. that he should be in a position right now where he should be competing for good quality fights that will lead him up to a world title uh, 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 fight or elimination or however they decide to want to do it. Right, and I mean, he's built up a reputation in the city as a pretty much uh, many people consider him the best fighter out of New York right now, believe and, it or not. And he's undoubtedly is. There's no fighters really in New York City right now that um, could compete with him. Mm. In fact, a lot of the fighters that we have to get, I mean, top fighters, we have to go um, uh, for spawn sessions, we have to go out of town. Mm. So, I mean, that should tell you a lot. Right. What do you think? What do you think is the reason for that? Why do you think New York is like falling off a little bit? I should, uh, in some ways. Because fighters, the fighters in New York, are not hungry, in my opinion, mm -hmm. like the fighters that's out of town. Mm. You know, fighters out of town, they come up in the gym. Um, that's all they have to do is just box, and they hungry. Mm. Richardson Hitches is a hungry fighter. He's a hungry fighter. That's why he needs to be, you know, in the forefront. At this point, and 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 uh, fighting, right? And you feel as if a good dance party will maybe even get the best out of him, uh, make him show that rise to the occasion and display these uh, skills and talent. A good what? Like uh, you know, like for example, they said Tank Tank always had this footwork ability and this uh, IQ, but a lot of times we didn't get to see him use it because the opponents kind of didn't uh, make him use it. I right. guess I should say. Well, you know. Styles make fights. Right. You need those type of fighters to bring out the best of you. Mm. You know? And so, uh, uh, what you saw with the Rolly Romero fight, if Tank hadn't been using that footwork, you know, he really didn't have those fighters wasn't bringing out the best of him. Mm. You know, this is a fight where he had to, you know, stick to the plan because, you know, even though he knocked Rolly out, Rolly was a dangerous fighter. Right. He, he was a threat. Yeah, he possessed some, some threat for sure. For sure, no doubt. It's, and so, and so that's what we need for Richards and Hitchens. We need for people to bring out the best of them so that the world can see just how really, really good he is. Mm. 
Yeah, man. I, I honestly, I can't wait. We see. I mean, I've had the pleasure to be in the gym around you guys, and we see how hard he works every day. Right. We see the work and commitment from both training. You know, it's a group effort. We see the the, the group, right. the group team effort. effort every every day in the gym, in and out. And right. you know, it, it'll be great to see that be rewarded. You know what I'm saying? Right. All I that agree. hard work. I agree with you 100. percent Yeah, man. But uh, coach, uh, before we let you go, you know, you got any any shout out any we want to give to all your supporters all your people you know that's been helping you and been with you along the way um big shout out to timmy tim fleezy <laughs> uh, i think that's how you call his name yeah shout I call out to him timmy. timmy you know because he's been around in a long time and his africa's richard's uh cousin right. and he's been helping out in the gym and helping us you know uh make richard's dream come alive so a big shout out to uh, tim fleezy <laughs> there you go. And coach, for those that may not know, where can we follow you at? You can find me at Coach Liddy underscore 100 rounds on Instagram. And I'm also starting something new called Boxicality. Mm. It's, it's uh, soon to come. Mm. So everybody be on the lookout. And that's going to be at uh, uh, Boxicality at Instagram. All right. So there you guys have it. Make sure you follow Coach Lenny. Get in tune with that box of Cali dropping real soon. There you go. You know, saying tap in with my guy. Yo, we're going to keep dropping these interviews on y'all so y'all can get some, you know, some of the education, mm -hmm. the history and the sport of boxing that, that not too many people are fond of. And, you know, we want to bring that to you guys. So, you know what I mean? Thank you so much for your time, Coach Lenny. And we wish you the best going forward with the rest of your career. Thank you so much. God bless. God bless.